Hey everybody, Keith K here with another Green Hell tutorial from the jungles of the Amazon. Today we are going to take a look at the mud charcoal furnace. And uh, this is really important if you're using um, the, uh, the mud uh, furnace here. So if you look at your notebook, <clears throat> these two things go together. The mud charcoal furnace, I'm sorry, the mud forge. So to power the forge, you do need lots of charcoal. Um, to feed it here as I've shown in my tutorial on this one. <clears throat> and you can certainly get charcoal from your campfires, uh, but a much more efficient way is to build this mud charcoal furnace. And if you look in your notebook under fire, you'll see that you just need three mud bricks. And I have um, another tutorial which shows you how to make the mud mixer. So I've already gone ahead and made that, but essentially if you were starting from scratch, you would just put this guy down and bring over three mud bricks um, in succession. It'll build this up. I'm not going to do that because I've got one ready to go. Um, and once you have that built, what you're going to need to do, you'll see this little indicator um, that you need to add wood, but you won't see any way to interact with it. So you'll actually just go to your inventory and um, start adding sticks to it. And uh, I put a lot of sticks in here already so that you wouldn't have to watch me go through that, but um, we'll finish it up together. So you just keep adding sticks and you can add small sticks until you fill this guy up. Oops. <clears throat> Once your indicator is full, you'll see it transitions and you close your inventory. It tells you you need a mud brick. So we'll go grab a mud brick from our mud mixer. And I've got a tutorial on that already that I can link to. We'll just grab our mud brick, carry it over, you see it says E to insert, you close the front cover, <clears throat> and then you just need to light this, and you can do this from pretty much any direction, and it's just like any other fire, you'll use your hand drill or other fire starting tool, get your fire going. And this will take a while, so, um, you know, it's best really just to get it fired up and uh, let it go. You see it actually plugs the top here. Um, and then once it's done, um, as I've shown before in some other tutorials, um, you'll end up with a fair amount of campfire ash and 15 charcoal um, that you can then use to power the furnace or the forge over here. Uh, let's see if we have one left. Uh, I don't, but it just goes right here as I showed earlier in the video. And that is pretty much it. I don't think I have any save. Nope. But that's pretty much it. Uh, this will give you a pretty ample supply of charcoal for your mud forge so that you can make um, molds for metal tools and uh, meltdown cans and so forth. And I have uh, a furnace, uh, sorry, a forge video that you can check out here. If you like these videos and you got something out of it, please give us a like. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of these. And uh, thanks a lot for your support. Really appreciate it.